I want to talk about prayer and I want to tell you something to not do when you pray something that I used to do now when I used to pray I would ask God to get him to do certain things to certain people so they can change their lives and I continued to pray that way over and over and over again and the funny thing about that one day what I was praying to happen to a person it happened to me <laughs> it was not good so when you pray Pray for good things to happen to the people that you are praying for, even when they are not serving God. Because we have to understand that we are going to reap what we sow. So if you are praying for bad things to happen to people for whatever reason, we have to know that what we put out is going to come back to us and we have to understand too you may say well <clears throat> if I pray for good things to happen to these people they may not change that is a possibility but what you have to understand too even if you pray to God for good things to happen to a person that person is going to reap what they sow so yes, you are praying for good things to happen to that person. <clears throat> but if that person is doing evil, evil things are going to happen to that person. So no matter you are praying for good things, I believe God is going to honor your prayer and allow good things to happen to that person. But because of that person doing evil, evil things are going to happen to that person as well. So you don't have to pray for God to punish certain people because he is going to do that anyways based upon how they live their life. But it is good for you not to ask God to do bad things to a person because, like I said, you are going to reap what you sow. So if you are asking God for this and this and that to happen to a person, I believe that because of the law of reaping and sowing, what you are praying, the punishment prayer, I guess you can say, that you are praying for that person, it can turn back on you. So this is why I say we should speak positive things about people of course we may have to correct people and stuff like that but it is good for us to speak positively about people it is good for us to bless our enemies instead of trying to punish or curse them because whatever we do whatever we say it is going to come back to us Payment must be made. When you do evil, payment must be made. Any type of negativity, any type of evil, anything that is not of God, if we do it or say it or think it, as in contemplate on it for too long, Payment must be made. So if you are willing to put it out there, you have to be willing to take it back in as well. So I pray that this makes sense. Be careful in what you pray for, and even with the good things. I know that some people say that they want to see hell and heaven and stuff like that.
I am not saying to be afraid or anything like that. I am not saying that you should not pray to God for that. But when you ask for things like that, something else comes with that as well. Now, if you can handle it, so be it. But I know for myself, I don't want to see hell or anything like that. Because inside of your mind, you may think to yourself, well, I want to see something like this and this and that. But what if you see something more than what you did not want to see? You have to understand that. I know the more that I pray to God, the more I understand that when you ask for something, you may get more than what you ask for. <laughs> so I refrain from praying about certain things, especially with the supernatural and stuff like that, because usually when I pray to see something of the supernatural, I get more than what I ask for by far. So, and I am not trying to get you into fear or anything like that. You just have to know what you are doing. So, I pray that this makes sense. Be careful in your prayers. You are going to reap what you sow in all things, not only with these earthly things. God bless.